So far we have seen that we can use the selector of a component like an HTML tag. So wherever we will use that selector like an HTML tag, there the view template of that component will be rendered. But we can also use a component selector in different ways. For example, we have already seen that we can use a selector like an HTML tag, but we can also use a selector like an HTML attribute or like a CSS class. So in this lecture, let's learn how we can use the selector of a component like an HTML attribute or like a CSS class. And to understand that, let's understand it using this top header component. So currently, if I go to this top header component.ts file, there we have this top header component class and there we have this selector top header and we are using this selector in the app component so if i go to app component.html there we are using that top header selector like an html tag and if we go to the web page and there if i inspect the web page here let me increase the width of this developer tool and if i go to this body section in there we have this app root and in there you will see we have this top header and inside that top header we have the same div which we have specified in the view template of top header component okay now let's say we want to use this top header like an html attribute instead of using it like an html element like an html tag we want to use it like an html attribute for that all we have to do is we have to wrap this value within square brackets like this and now this selector cannot be used anymore like HTML tag. Now we will have to use this selector like an HTML attribute. So if I go to the web page now, you will see that we have an error. You can see we have an error. Top header is not a known element because now top header cannot be used anymore like an HTML element. Now we need to use it like an HTML attribute. So let's go to app component.html again. And there we are using it like an HTML element, like an HTML tag. We cannot use it like an HTML tag. So what we are going to do is, I'll comment this code here. And in the next line, let's go ahead and let's create a div. And for that div, let's specify an attribute called top header. Okay, so we can use it like an HTML attribute. Now if I save the changes and if we go back, now you will see that we don't have any error and our application is working as expected. The top header component is rendered as it was rendering earlier. So there is no difference in that. But now instead of rendering the top header component like an HTML element, it is going to render it like an attribute. So if I expand this body section again, and if you go to this app root section, there you will not see any top header tag anymore. Now you will see a div tag. And for that div tag, you will see that top header attribute. And inside that div tag, the view template of top header component has been rendered. Okay. So this is how we can use a selector like an HTML attribute. Then we can also use a selector like a CSS class. So let's go back. In order to use a selector like a CSS class, let's first remove these square brackets from here. So in order to use a selector like a CSS class, all we have to do is we have to use a dot. And now we can use this selector like a CSS class. So let's go back to app component.html and there I can specify a CSS class here. And to that we can assign top header like this. Let's save the changes. Let's go back to the web page. And there you will see that the web page is rendered as it was rendering earlier. But if I expand the body section here and if we go to this app root, there you will see we have that div on which we have used the top header class. So if I expand this, on that div we will see we have a CSS class assigned with top header. And inside that div, the view template of top header component has been rendered. Okay. So in this way, we can use a selector like an HTML element, like an HTML attribute, or like a CSS class. Now we can also use a selector like an ID. For example, in order to use a selector like an ID, instead of dot, we need to use pound sign. And then in the app component.html, we can say ID equals top header. So if you go back to the web page, the web page is still rendered. But now 
let's expand this body section let's go to this app root section and in there you will see on the div we have this id called top header and inside that div the view template of top header component has been rendered okay so this div is the view template of top header component so that div has been rendered here all right now generally in angular we don't use a selector like an html attribute or a css class or a css id we mostly use it like an html tag but we use selector as an attribute mainly in case of angular directives now we have not talked about angular directives yet but when we use angular directive when we create angular directive there we use selector like an html attribute and at that time we use attribute selector but here since it is a component we are going to use it like an html element so for that we are simply assigning the value to this selector property without wrapping it within square brackets or using a dot or pound sign before this value okay then let's go to this app component.html let's remove this diff from here and let's uncomment this code okay so now we are using the selector like an html tag if we save the changes if we go back to the web page our application should still be working but this time we are using the top header like an html tag but you will understand the use of attribute selector when we will talk about directives and that's why i wanted to talk about different types of selectors in this lecture before we talk about directives all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day